I'm prone to exaggeration, but really, this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. It's a piece of heaven, literally. Welcome back to Haida Gwaii. The Haida people have well over 10,000 years of culture here, and my plan was to discover it all. That proved impractical, so let's narrow it down to amazing artists, stunning carvings, and a great big war canoe. And here they are. They say they're not master carvers, but I believe their resume proves otherwise. Jolin, Gwai, nice to see you. Here we are outside your shed. What do you call this? A shed? A uh, carving shed, yeah. Your carving shed. Can we go inside? Yep, let's go check it out. Let's carve something. You are two out of the three main artists on the Legacy Pole, correct? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and the Legacy Pole, this is a tremendous pole, because where is the Legacy Pole? It's at Windy Bay. It's at Windy Bay, and it is the first totem pole to be erected inside of Guajanas in how long? It's like, like 120. Yeah, 120 years. You're not going to let me actually hold a tool, are you? Yeah. Is there, like, what kind of tool? I sharpened one up for you. Did you? Mm -hmm. What's it called? This is a it's just a canoe knife, yeah. A knife. Yeah, a knife. I love the Haida language. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to work on a round box. Is that what it's called? Bent box. Bent box. And uh, is this a is that a bent box back there? Yeah, we have one prepped up. We have one finished there in the box. Oh, oh wow! Can you quickly say what the story is? It's a, a wealth bringing spirit, and Kunakata is the name and you can see that he eats whales, so there's whales inside his mouth. Getting back to what makes these boxes unique, this is one plank, and they've managed to bend it this way. Like, there is no line there. That's your height of technology right there. This is a plank. So in the old days, they just dug a hole in the ground and put water and hot rocks. Right. Oh, I see. So the steam is going to come up here. Is that actually steaming now? You could lift it. So that's one of those cuts. 15 minutes and now it's ready to bend. You lift this side up. Okay, I'll just stand here and lift. Oh, uh, you stand right here where you were. I'll stand over there and lift. Ready? Okay. Push down. Go slow, go slow. No way. That's amazing, look at that. So what do you do if like you steam it 15 minutes and as you're gently bending the wood, it snaps? Do you throw it out or do you have some sort of fix? It's done. Done. Firewood. Firewood. Good kingling out of these things though. So the pressure's really on because this is the final one. Yeah. Do you have this one designed yet where you're going to paint on it? No. If you do a box for me where you put a television on it? Absolutely. That'd be cool. TV box. TV box. I could con put my flickers in it. <laughs> I could put a mirror on it, and then you can just pretend you're always on TV. Now we're getting a little carried away. <laughs> okay. okay, bending, 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 bending. No way! And this is the semi-finished product, a bent wood box, one plank, one box. Thank you so much. Hawa. That was a real treat. Hawa. Hawa. I now have a date with a war canoe. Thanks very much. And what a thrill it is to meet author, artist, historian, and founder of The Watchman. Hello, Captain Gold, how are you? Nice to see you. Very good. We're yep. going to go out in the war canoe. Yeah. And what's your job? I'll be the steers person. The on steers the person. Do you have to be an elder, a wise person? Well, a lot of people can do it if they go through the proper training. Can I do it? You can do it. Today? Not today, but you got to go through the training. There's a course, because I'm not big on that. No, the thing is... I like to... Listen, when you were a young man, you got in a canoe, you told me, and went on a trip that lasted an entire summer. You'd never been in a canoe before. Only one person. <laughs> so you were only risking you your got, life. Now you got about 25 people on board here. I see. Okay. All right. So I'll roll with the rest of them. Ah, okay. I guess. <laughs> Does this require upper body strength? Very much. I see. So I'll roll for a little bit, and then I'll be watching. <laughs> Oh no, 
no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. OK. All right. Push off. I guess I should sit down and row now, Captain? OK. <laughs> Captain? Hello. How are we doing, Captain? Doing good. Do you have any tips? Nope, just paddle. Just paddle? <laughs> He's a man of many words, the captain. <laughs> I might have to get one of these for the cottage. <laughs> Invite 25 people over to help you row your boat. <laughs> paddle, sorry, paddle. Yeah, there you go. Don't say you're, you're catching on. Captain, would you ram a canoe with another war canoe? Yep. You would ram each other? Yep. OK, ramming speed, Captain, <laughs> which definitely sounds like a Star Trek reference. I'm just saying, this is much harder than the war canoe machine at Good Life Fitness. Power from High the Glide! Beautiful.